So as your library of SOLIDWORKS files grows, it's going to happen sometimes that you might need to rename an existing file or maybe move some files from one location to another, from one folder to another place. But if you just use the standard Windows commands for this, such as the right click and rename, or maybe doing a drag and drop or control C or control V to move your files around, then you're going to run into a problem whenever you try to open up uh, any files that reference the file that you've moved or renamed. For instance, this assembly is saying that it can't find the files that were renamed. And the reason is that it has no idea that there was a rename operation done. As far as it knows, the files just aren't there anymore. So to avoid that, what I'm going to do instead is when I go to rename this file, instead of just using that right click and use the Windows rename, I'm going to go to the flyout here for SOLIDWORKS. And notice there's a, a special rename command there. And when I click on that, it's going to launch the SOLIDWORKS Explorer. And the SOLIDWORKS Explorer is going to check for any files that reference this part. And what it will do is actually tell that, those files that I've renamed this part file. That way they are made aware of the situation and as soon as I go to update, or sorry, to open any of those, they're just going to update with the new part file.